Welcome to Talk Tennis. Olivier, thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, it's a pleasure. We are at the beautiful La Quinta Resort, behind the scenes, literally behind the scenes, at the Babylon photo shoot today. You've got some amazing players. We've got some beautiful rackets on the court, on the court, on the table. <laughs> um, how's your day going so far? What all is on the agenda for after this? Do you get to hang out with the players? What, what's a day in the life at uh, BNP Paribas for you? Yeah, so we start for, with, with uh, this, this morning, yes, we have a, a really um, busy day with, uh, with all the player coming for the, for the, to create the content for, for next year, especially the pure strike players. Um, so today and tomorrow, so this is a, a perfect place to work with and the perfect moment in the year yes. just to, uh, to work on the, on the content for, for the next season. So, uh, nice. yes, pretty excited about it. Yeah. Well, the last time I saw you, we did a blacked out play test on these rackets, the strike rackets. Yeah. And um, I also have to say, before we get too far into it, your guy, Cam Nori, is doing some damage out there on tour. So the timing of this is aligning really well. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. So we're going to talk about the Pure Strike Rackets. This is a highly anticipated update. A lot of players have been asking, when do they get updated? Now's the time. They're getting updated. Tell me what has changed and what, what the strike player demanded and what's changed in these rackets. Yes, actually, we, um, we, uh, we carried a survey uh, um, in different countries and um, about uh, pure strike players and, and players that expect controls or play with control rackets. And so um, the feedback we got is um, first about the color was very well perceived, just to have the white, uh, the white base color. So even talking with, uh, with some retailers as well, uh, and you, are, you, you were part of it. Yes. <laughs> uh, so the white, uh, white base was really well perceived. So it was something that, we, uh, that, that we've kept. And um, then in terms of playability, uh, we got uh, two main feedbacks. Um, it, uh, it was about the flexibility of the racket. Mm -hmm. So this is something we, uh, we, we worked on, um, on, on, the, on this new update. And uh, the other aspect was the, the feel, especially this is a category of players that is very sensitive to the, to the feel and how they feel the ball at impact. Uh, so we worked on, uh, on some technologies about, uh, about the feel as well. So. Okay, well, that's a good way to start it. And we saw Flax come into play in the Pure Arrows last year. So that technology is a dampening technology, if I'm correct. And yes. it was very noticeable in the feel of the new Pure Arrows. So tell me, if I'm guessing that there might be Flax in these strikes. Tell me what you guys did. Exactly. We inserted some, uh, we added some Flax uh, patches, uh, flag fibers, natural flag fibers in the racket. Uh, we know that it's a very good uh, component. It was very well perceived on the Pure Aero, especially uh, in terms of uh, mechanical properties and the sound uh, perception, which is um, a little bit more muted. Mm -hmm. um, it was something important. The sound was something important for, uh, for the control players. Um, and uh, yeah, we decided to, uh, to work on, uh, on this uh, technology and add this technology in, um, in the racket. We did it in a very uh, specific way with um, a kind of progressivity, um, so about the, the filtration. So with the lighter versions, it's not the same type of players. So we have a, a more flag fibers in, uh, in those rackets. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we, we've kept as well the, what we call the SMAC, uh, okay. which is a viscoelastic yeah. material to, uh, to have a, uh, a higher uh, filtrations. And then uh, for, uh, especially for the 98 square inch racket or the 97 square inch, we have less filtrations to have more uh, feel yeah. or extreme mm -hmm. extreme feel. So it's a way to have a certain progressivity in the feel and the, on the filtration, depending on the typology of players. And uh, we worked in, in, in that way, uh, adding the, the flags in different locations. Awesome. Well, we have the family of rackets in front of us. Can you talk us through what we will see this year in the strike family? Yes, actually, we, um, we have um, so the, the the range we in the lineup. So we have the the pure strike uh, uh, 100, which is a, a, a racket uh, dedicated for a certain type of player. So we have a differences between the head size mm -hmm. um, mainly. We, we see this is a 98 uh, with a 16, 19 string pattern and and, and the 100. So uh, it was rackets uh, we had in in the previous lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, we would say we have uh, uh, two uh, two new. Uh, <laughs> Two newcomers. Uh, two newcomers. We like that. In, uh, we like so that. the first one is um, is uh, is this one that is uh, uh, the the Pure Strike ninety seven. Wow. Uh, which, which which is a 
a, a base of the Pure Strike VS, uh, so it's 97 square inch. You see the, oh, leather, good, the, the leather yeah. grip here, which is very important for uh, to get a firm feel. Um, uh, so uh, the racket is uh, is a bit more flexible than the the, nine, the, the 98. Okay. Uh, the, it's a, it's a little bit thinner. Uh, so the head size is smaller. So it's a racket dedicated for control and precision for players that has a very long swing or could play classic players, could play with one hand back ends, mm -hmm. players players like this. Uh, so um, yes, a, a racket. Uh, that is the evolution of the, of the Pure Strike VS. And what's the string pattern on that one? The string pattern on this one is a uh, 1620. Okay. So as, as a Pure Strike VS, we've got the, the 16 mains and, and, and uh, 20, 20 crosses. Nice. Um, another one, a, a new one, uh, which is pretty excited about, it's um, the Pure Strike 100 okay. with a 1620 string pattern. Um, and we have here a very flexible racket. Okay. The, it's a 65 oh, wow. array, which is very, very flexible, where we are here at uh, 68 for the others and, and 60, 67 for the, for the Pure Strike uh, um, 97. So the most flexible racket we have in the, in the lineup uh, and dedicated to, uh, to a certain type of players, especially the counter attacking players, mm -hmm. that players that keep the baseline and play the ball early with maybe more compact ranges. They need a a certain control that you have with the flexibility of the frame, with a string, with a string pattern, with a 16, 20 string pattern, but expect as well a bit more forgiveness. Okay. They play very early, so with that they can get with a with a 100 square range. So it's a it's a new racket uh, for us, and we got very good results on the on the test. We we uh, we carried in. A, in different countries, so US, Europe, and, uh, and Japan, to a certain level of players. Good racket, few or five grams, mm -hmm. uh, with a balance at uh, uh, 31 centimeters, so more located in the, in the, in, in the racket uh, handle. And so you can, you can get a very good maneuverability uh, on this racket. So a new one that we are very excited about. Then we have some other rackets, lighter versions, Pure Strike Team, Pure Strike Lite, nice. Pure Strike Junior 26. But uh, we'd say those, those four ones are, are very, uh, very important, yes. Do you think that the 98, the Strike 98 18 by 20 player is going to be missing something? Or do you think one of these two might be an easy... No, we, we're going to have the, the, the 98 okay, with the 18 20. Perfect. We're going to keep this racket, of course, that is uh, endorsed by, uh, <laughs> by Dominic team. So we know that it's important to have a, it's a more dense uh, it's a string pattern. Uh, with a with a 18 to, uh, 20, mm -hmm. so we're gonna keep this uh, this racket in the lineup, of course. Uh, it was a selection of a few rackets. Okay, in, in this <laughs> just lineup. making not, sure. Not, not all, 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 Someone all the sees rackets, it but, uh, missing and yeah, they, yeah, they start freaking we're out. We're gonna keep, of course, that that racket, which is performing well, of course. Yes, yes. and we know that 18 20, it's uh, it, it's important for uh, yeah, players that expect control. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, we did a blind play test with you guys about a year ago. I think there were four rackets and, uh, you had, uh, Chris, Jason, Brittany, and I on the court. And it's always fun for us to come together and hit balls. And when they're blacked out rackets, we, you know, sometimes you feel like, you know, which one's the best. Yeah. And sometimes you feel like everyone else is wrong. Um, I think our team actually came together and we all didn't like the same racket. And then we all picked two of the top rackets. Did one of those rackets manifest into something on the table? And how did the, like, talk to me about how this play test went with other play testers that yes. you guys use. So yes, it was a great experience. Yeah. And so you, you, you guys did a great job. Oh, so, good. Yeah. <laughs> it was a very relevant feedback. Of course, we are, as I said, I think for us, it's important to test the racket in different countries. Um, so uh, we got many, uh, many tests in, um, on, on the player target, of course, and uh, you tested uh, the Pure Strike 98 mm -hmm. uh, with the 1619 uh, string pattern. So it was uh, a selection of, of those rackets. When we work on a, on a frame, on a new frame, we select uh, one model. So okay. it was the model we selected. Yeah. And then you guys, yes, you, you, you tested and uh, the prototype number one was the reference, which yeah. was uh, the, the current racket, the racket we have in the range now. And then we worked on three other options. It's, it, options that got the flag fibers in, diff uh, in some, some, some different lo locations. Mm -hmm. And so it was a way to um, yeah, test uh, 
with the flexibility, with the sound and the, the feel, uh, what was the racket that was the, 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 the best perception. And um, actually, yes, uh, <laughs> you guys, uh, so you selected one of the rackets, uh, uh, the prototype that nice. we, that, that, that we uh, <laughs> finally se se selected. Um, and yeah, you guys got a good feel uh, with, uh, with this racket. So we are really excited that based on many other feedbacks we got, everything that's converged on, the, on, on, the, on, on this racket, on this prototype. Um, I was going to say, just for anyone listening or watching, you hear us talk about playtests, but it can be a little intimidating as the playtester to walk on a court. Imagine all of these rackets are blacked out. You're just hitting with your partner for a bit. And then it's like we're almost like taking a test with you guys, mm -hmm. talking about what we experienced. And it's very like you can't no one's allowed to hear what anyone else says. It's very uh, locked in on your individual experience. So it, it's super fun and it's really nice to hear that sometimes we actually know what we're talking about but I think from us um, the biggest thing that we did notice in those prototypes was the improved feel it was the one that we all gravitated towards and it sounds like that's going to be a big factor in this update for the strike. Yeah. Yes, this is the way we uh, we proceed for uh, for test uh, every time with black rackets because we know that sometimes the cosmetic can have an impact on mm -hmm. the perception. So black rackets, matte finish, um, with a reference, which is normally we have the the, the, the current racket. And then yes, it's important that when we have a play test, um, some testers so they <laughs> we, it's to get the feedback. But we know sometimes it can we can have an influence from from some players. So, right. it's, so that's why we we try to to get feedback individually. Uh, yes, and so uh, yes, you guys did well. And so it was uh, <laughs> it was a really, uh, <laughs> great experience for us too. Yeah. Nice. Well, maybe we can trans go from there, translate that into working with some of these players that are endorsing the strike. Um, we mentioned Cam Nori. We mentioned Domi. Yeah. Uh, how's that? How does that process look? It's a um, it's a constant process we have. Um, so as you you know, we we work in constant and close collaboration with players every year. We have the expert team that with racket customizer that uh, they they talk with players. Uh, we can adjust have slight adjustments on the, on the on the specs. And um, Cam Nori came to uh, to the office uh, last year. We talked about um, the game, the evolution. What he th what he thought about the rackets, the control, what 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 meant the control for him, uh, just to understand better different options we could work with. Um, we shared as well some cosmetic options, mm -hmm. um, cosmetic designs, uh, and explained why we we choose these options and the, the way we treated the the the, the, the logo and the, the, the franchise uh, on the on the racket. Mm -hmm. So um, we share um, together. Um, comments, feedbacks, experience, and then it helps a lot engineers and us to uh, yeah, to work on the to work on the update. And um, yeah, it was a it was a great moment. And um, yeah, we every time we, we talk with them, it's uh, very, very helpful for us. He seems like such a low key guy and he's just doing amazing things on tour right now. It's really fun to watch his career just yeah. kind of explode. So that's really fun to see him leading the franchise, his name's on the place card. I remember when he was playing at TCU. So yeah. <laughs> it's fun to see how far he's come along. Um, what about working with Dominic Team? He just seems like a delight. Yes, um, <laughs> Dom Dominic and, uh, was involved as well in the, in, in the developments. Uh, so he tested, uh, he tested some prototypes. So, it's, um, uh, so we went to uh, Austria. Um, so he tested uh, yeah, some rackets to, uh, to, to get the feedback. It's important for us to, uh, to take into account uh, top players' uh, requirements, as well as club players that we, we check at every level to, to find the perfect balance for, for the, I would say, the, the family of control, uh, control players. Mm -hmm. um, so, and for us, again, it's um, sharing uh, with such players, it's, it's very useful. It's, it's, you know, it's, everything is on detail. So uh, uh, they are like Formula Ones that uh, it's very important to, uh, to work on the racket and the specifications with them to, uh, to, to find the perfect balance and uh, to find the perfect st stick they can, they can play with. Um, so Dominic tested it. Um, he shared uh, the, 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 the opinion as well. And so it was for us a, a very good feedback that we took into account for, for the development. 
as, as we do every time for, uh, for a certain group of players, yes. Nice. And let's, let's talk about our lady, Contevet. How is it? How is it working with her? Yes, Annette is is a great, uh, great woman. She uh, she played such amazing year last year. She she was she was number two in the in, in the world. So um, yeah, she likes uh, she likes the racket. Uh, she needs uh, she needs some control in uh, in in her game. Um, yes, she's uh, she's very nice. And uh, as Dominique, as Cameron, so we we uh, yeah we got the feedback and it's it's. Uh, it's important to have uh, different feedbacks from from men, from women, mm-hmm. and uh, yes, as as, uh, as we developed the racket for a large category of players, yes, and so it's um, it was a great moment as well, yes, with uh, nice. with Annette. Awesome. Well, let's talk a bit about what the best string setups might be for these rackets. Uh, maybe you can walk us through what what string setup you would put in each one. So actually, the um, so you have the. The control that provides uh, is provided by, by the racket. Then, if you if you want a, b- a bit more control, so you can play with a monofilament string and polyester that um, uh, like like the RPM Blast. Um, R- RPM Hurricane could be a good option too for uh, um, for players that experience certain control. Uh, then, of course, we know that for these category of rackets, hybrid strings uh, are very well uh, perceived as you play with a monofilament on mains and. Uh, and um, multi-filaments or, or VS gut uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> on, on, uh, on crosses. Uh, so hybrid strings could be a, a very good uh, combination with this kind of racket. And uh, we have in the range as well a more flexible monofilament uh, like ARPM team, which is a bit softer. So that that could that could work well on, uh, for 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 this category of, uh, of of players. Then for the lightest versions. Um, and um, air, um, pure strike uh, team or pure strike light, uh, depending on your level, of course, you you can try uh, a multi filament. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it depends, of course, of, of your of your level. Uh, if you don't break too too often, mm-hmm. um, but multi filament for young players, uh, junior players um, at 15, um, 14 could be a, could be a good option, depending on the level too. Nice. Um, now we we know how popular pure arrow and pure drive are, and sometimes I feel like the pure strikes get overshadowed. Do you think it's more because players just kind of don't assume they need more control, or like is there any reason why those pure arrow and pure drives are just like the popular ones, and we need the sh- like? Do people overlook the strike family? Yeah, so <laughs> th- th- this ra- this kind of racket so in the lineup is very dedicated to. Um, uh, we say attacking players. We uh-huh. say and we identify two categories of uh, of players in, in the attacking players. We could say the first one, which is um, a category with um, long swing, mm-hmm. all around players um, that potentially that play flat shots or they don't put too much spin in the ball. So they they expect a certain control from the racket. And yeah. the, the the in the lineup, the pure strike ninety eight is a perfect fit for for this category of uh, of players. And then we have the second category that we could uh, we call the counter attacking players. Uh, they have more compact um, uh, swing, uh, but they play the ball ver- very early. They mm-hmm. use the ball mm-hmm. speed, mm-hmm. and so they need a bit more forgiveness, some responsiveness as well. But but keep keep a certain control. Um, so that's why we developed uh, in in the line the the pure strike with 100 square inch. And uh, yes, this is the, the group for attacking players. And it's a bit different from the pure live and the, and, and the pure IO. Yeah. Pure IO players expect more spin to uh, have curved trajectories to secure the game. And, and pure live players expect the power just yeah. uh, <laughs> to maximize the strength, uh, like a, a big serve or big forehand, so aggressive baseliners. So it's a different kind of players. Yeah. Definitely. OK, that totally makes sense. And then let's talk a little bit about the cosmetic. You already hit on it um, before, but it's super clean, white with the hit of the orange. And I actually am loving just even this call out right on the front. So how did the design inspiration come about? Yeah, it's uh, the inspiration we, we had for these categories um, of, of rackets. It's, uh, um, we say it's a category that all players that create the game and, and take the lead of the points. So okay. control, it's, it's, it's a kind of create the game with a lot of vari- variety of shots. And then, um, yeah, take the lead, take the control. Uh, so that's why we uh, we worked on on, on this. Uh, so the white base it's a kind of a 
you know, uh, purity. Mm -hmm. uh, very clean. So for pure players, very clean. And then we treated here. You have some very small details on the racket that you, you have here, some of uh, the strike that can reflect here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we treated um, as well for this category of players. It's like a code. It's a, it's a category of players uh, where f for the, the strategy is very important. They create the game. It's like a chase game. So it's a, you, it's a way to uh, try to uh, decrypt uh, the game of the opponent mm -hmm. and then adapt a certain style to, to beat, uh, uh, adopt a certain strategy to beat the opponent. So here we treated this in a way like it's like a code. You can see the strike here. And um, yeah, and then uh, you find the right code and uh, decrypt the, the opponent game and, and adopt the right strategy to, uh, to win the match. So, it's, uh, so we, worked, we worked on this and here, uh, the, the claim, which is uh, create the game, control the points, um, and of course we said engineered in France with the name of the racket. So it was, uh, nice. it was yes, the, the 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 story behind the, the the design of this racket. They look awesome. I'm really excited to get that Strike 97 in yeah, my hands. It's, a, it's beautiful. It's pretty good one. Yeah, pretty good one. <laughs> Anything else to say about these beautiful new updates? Oh, we are very proud of it. It was um, it was a very uh, long development, uh, so the team worked very well on this. Um, we carried many tests on the control, um, I would say, control players in different different group of players in different countries. So it was a long one, and we are very excited. We got very good feedback, and you guys were was part <laughs> of the feedback. So uh, yes, and then uh, you see great ambassadors. Uh, we're gonna have as well. Um, uh, Niels Vink uh, on, on wheelchair playing, playing with this racket, That's awesome. um, so which is important for us. And yeah, it's a good lineup. Really excited about it. Uh, nice colors with a uh, fluoro red, which is a uh, modern and so given energy as well. And so it's a pretty good lineup. It looks awesome. Before we wrap this one up, I know we've talked about it previously in that Pure Arrow podcast that we did, but maybe you can just give our listeners um, a rundown on actually how long it takes to update a franchise of rackets. For us, yes, it's a long, pro it's, it's almost two years. Yeah, uh, it's <laughs> that's crazy. Two years because we need, we, actually we need time, you know, we are still the COVID-19, so sometimes that can, mm -hmm. uh, um, it's, it's a constraint we could have just to, to work on some development, to get some prototypes in time, so then to organize some tests with, with a group of players. Um, so we need to, um, to um, to manage this, to which is which is important. So that's why we prefer to uh, to take time, and then yes, uh, work on focus group, work on players, get the feedback, organize some test sessions. Uh, we work on two or three different loops, um, and then we run our cosmetics as well. So yes, to get a perfect racket, it's uh, it, it takes times, and uh, yeah, we are really proud of it. It's, uh, Racket is ready for next year. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing all of this information with me. I'm very excited for everyone to get these in their hands. Super excited to hit them. And what else? Do, did I miss anything? No. That's it. So it let's, go, let's go play some yeah. tennis. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for listening. Happy hitting. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs>